Specifically, I'll be talking about sleeve adapters that convert your crankshaft from three quarter inch to one inch. And I'm gonna give you a close up look of that sleeve adapter. It comes with the key that just basically goes in like this. And this adapter here is made to go on a three quarter inch shaft. Now you may be wondering, when am I ever going to have to use an adapter like this? Well, I'm just gonna show you with the engine that's on my table here. Here's the reason why. I wanna put this pulley here on this engine and the hole in this pulley here is one inch and it's three quarter inch on the engine. This is what's gonna happen. It is way too loose. So by installing that sleeve, it's gonna make the pulley nice and tight on that engine. The reason why I need to put this big pulley here on this engine is because I'm installing that engine on this snowblower over here. And this here was the original pulley from that snowblower, so I definitely have to use it so that it matches up with the belts. So when you replace the engine on a snowblower, you wanna make sure you keep the same pulleys or have some that are the same size. And this way here, I can slap it on that engine Install the engine on this snowblower and I shouldn't have any snags when it comes to the belts. If you use different size pulleys, you could affect the drive of the snowblower. The drive may be too slow or too fast. Also, if you do not have the same size pulley for the auger, your engine may lack power. Or on the other hand, it may not blow snow as far as it used to. So now I'm gonna show you how to install this adapter on the engine. Now, first of all, as a precaution, I like to use anti-seize on my crankshafts when I install pulleys on them. And it's the same thing if I'm going to install one of these adapters. And you can be generous with your NTCs when you do this. It's also going to make the sleeve go on much easier. Now you need to separate the key from the adapter. In this case here, I'm going to install the adapter on the crankshaft in this position here. And when you install it, you want to line up the keyway hole on the crankshaft and the hole on the adapter sleeve. And now you want to install the key in this position here facing down. As you can see, it's slightly smaller on the bottom. This is the part that will go on the engine crankshaft. Now, if you do get one of these kits and you find it hard to fit the key on the engine crankshaft, what you might need to do is put it in a vise like this, like I did. And with a chainsaw file, just file it a few times. and then it'll fit in there nice and easy. Also, if the top part of the key here is too wide for your pulley, you may need to do the same by just filing this side over here and that side. Now that I've got my key all set up, I'm just gonna install it like this. Now before I install the pulley, I'm gonna show you how to remove the key. I use some side cutters like this that have an angle to them. Just grab onto the key nice and easy. You don't wanna leave marks on it. Then just pry up like this and it's gonna come out. Also, I only use a brass hammer to put the key in because I don't want to cause any damage to it. Sometimes it's a bit snug and you do need to hammer it down a bit. Now what I do is I put anti-seize on the top part of the sleeve as well. You'll be thankful if ever you have to take it apart again that there is anti-seize. Now I'm going to install the pulley and line up the keyway hole on the pulley to the key on the shaft. Now on this pulley here, there's two Allen set screws that need to be tightened up. And you can also install a bolt with a large washer. So between the bolt and the two set screws, this pulley is not going to go anywhere. And now it's nice and solid, and by having that sleeve, you can reuse the engine to repower some other equipment. If you guys need one of these sleeves, just PM me through my YouTube channel and I can mail one out to you. Currently, the going price is around $55 plus tax. It's a small price to pay if you want to repower a nice snowblower. Okay guys, this is the Aaron's blower that I showed you that I put the adapter sleeve on the crankshaft of the engine. I'm going to start it up and I'm going to give it a test run and Joel here is videotaping me. He's going to videotape me actually testing it out just to show you guys that it does just as good of a job if you adapt an engine on a blower like this.
So thanks for watching guys, make sure to subscribe and you can see me in my next video. Have a great day.